Deductive reasoning and inductive reasoning are two approaches to forming conclusions based on evidence or premises. Deductive reasoning starts with a general statement or hypothesis and examines the possibilities to reach a specific, logical conclusion. In contrast, inductive reasoning begins with specific observations and moves toward broader generalizations or theories. While both methods are used to understand and analyze information, they operate in opposite directions. Deductive reasoning, also known as top-down reasoning, is a process where conclusions are drawn logically from a set of premises. If the premises are true, the conclusion must also be true. For example, consider the classic syllogism. All humans are mortal. Socrates is a human. Therefore, Socrates is mortal. This reasoning relies on the truth and structure of its premises. One strength of deductive reasoning is its reliability. If the premises are accurate and the reasoning is valid, the conclusion is guaranteed to be true. This makes deductive reasoning a powerful tool in mathematics, science and formal logic, where precise and unambiguous results are needed. One weakness of deductive reasoning is its dependence on the truth of the premises. If even one premise is incorrect, the entire argument may collapse. For instance, in the argument, all birds can fly, penguins are birds, therefore penguins can fly. The conclusion is false because the first premise is inaccurate. Now let's look at some examples. A simple example of deductive reasoning is a mathematical proof. If it is true that the sum of the angles in a triangle is always 180 degrees, and a specific triangle is measured with angles adding to 180 degrees, then we conclude it is a valid triangle. Another example comes from everyday life. If it rains, the ground will be wet. It is raining. Therefore, the ground is wet. This conclusion is valid as long as the premises hold true. Now let's explore inductive reasoning. Inductive reasoning, often called bottom-up reasoning, involves observing specific instances and drawing broader conclusions from them. Unlike deductive reasoning, its conclusions are not guaranteed to be true, but are instead probable. For example, observing that the sun has risen in the east every day of my life might lead to the general conclusion that the sun always rises in the east. One strength of inductive reasoning is its ability to generate new ideas or theories. By starting with specific observations, inductive reasoning allows people to form hypotheses and identify patterns, which is invaluable in scientific research and problem solving. One weakness of inductive reasoning is that its conclusions are not certain. Even if every observed instance supports the conclusion, there is always a possibility that future observations might contradict it. For example, just because all observed swans are white does not mean all swans are white. Now let's look at some examples. A simple example of inductive reasoning is predicting the weather. If dark clouds have consistently preceded rain in the past, one might conclude that dark clouds mean rain is coming. Another example is a medical diagnosis. A doctor might observe a patient's symptoms, compare them to previous cases, and conclude a likely illness. While the conclusion is probable, it is not guaranteed to be correct until further tests confirm it. Deductive and inductive reasoning represent two fundamental approaches to analysing and interpreting information. Deductive reasoning works from general principles to specific conclusions, offering certainty when its premises are true but remaining confined to established knowledge. In contrast, inductive reasoning moves from specific observations to broader generalizations, making it an essential tool for discovery and innovation, but leaving room for uncertainty. Together, these methods provide complementary tools for understanding the world. Deductive reasoning ensures precision and clarity while inductive reasoning fosters exploration and adaptability. Both approaches are crucial, depending on the context and purpose of the reasoning task.